Hello and welcome back to my table, where sometimes you have to just roll with it. Uh, so when we happened, um, we went to the uh, festival and we tried to find out uh, our like find out if there's uh, a bomb threat going on. We talked to a few people. Um, after finding out like everything is good maria was up like wanted to enjoy a festival for once so uh we played we uh played some games uh won some stuff we got a cloak of following uh uh and we also uh dot cal drunk uh went to the circus and etc. Did I get everything? Went straight to the point. It's about all we did. Yeah, and uh, no, yeah, no one got injured. Um, no bombs or anything. Makes us worried. I get inspiration. Oh, I can use my book now. Awesome. <laughs> oh, you didn't have one before. Oof. Oh yeah. Well, my in, my book uses inspirations. Hmm. Shortly Sorry, after, man. we're settling into our chairs after this long and eventful evening. Apparently, I never printed off that part of my notes. Oh. Um, uh, just a I quick think, thing while I think, you're uh, looking for it. Um. So if Farin had an inspiration, do I just put that on, you know, new character or just leave that on our own? Okay. Okay. Uh, also, I think you're heading to the bed and um, then you stopped the recording, but my character would walk up to you, grab your arm, tw twist you around and give you a kiss. Whenever you uh, find you need a mic, just um, switch it back to the core so I know, because I don't want to mess with it. All right. Cal doesn't seem to push you away or lean into it one way or the other. Awesome. At this moment, breaks through the door. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> uh, Mario will break away from the kiss and smiles and then walks to her room after uh and when she gets to her door she will look over and say thank you for the night and then goes inside her room this time that a rather tall and muscular looking fellow walks in the tavern door <laughs> Rest as one of the many guards that we saw from the festivities. Okay. The token that I can't move on now. <laughs> Out of curiosity, what is the uh, reaction of uh, Kel um, after this? Like, after what Maria did? What was her, what's basically his reaction? Oh. Yeah, it doesn't seem to push you away or lean into it, so. I just, like, I happening. thought he would be, like, extremely confused at what the fuck just happened. Part of hunting down and killing people is seeing everything that people Oh, yep, this is happening. <laughs> there we go. Oh. I can't wait for Nala to like watch this episode and she like oh my god <laughs> like, Are you drunk? I had one beer several hours ago still plastered <laughs> <laughs> yeah so Walking in, uh, 
the current day was like fairly calm, nothing like eventful happened. No one blew anything up that you're aware of. <laughs> true, true. Alright. Uh in the mindset of him, he's probably just going to like basically go up to the bar and like just get something for himself. Like basically a meal since it's currently nighttime and he's yet to eat dinner. Oh god, I wish my character would actually stayed in making out with him. <laughs> so he just watched this when he walked through the bar. <laughs> Like, Most he, people don't seem to think of that as strange. It's cool. just he, he's strange, kind of. Just mainly the height and the like, the strength looking build that he's got going. But he's trying to get food. He's hungry, you know. <laughs> he's hungry. Are you telling me you wouldn't want to eat after a long day of work? <laughs> Apparently piss drunk, I'm still amazing at looking at things. <laughs> to be fair, wasn't really hiding his presence, he's just like, food time, like, you know. <laughs> if anything, I would have rolled a stealth with disadvantage to compete. More like, is Cal aware enough to notice his surroundings? Hmm. Granted, my passive is still a 15, so... Uh, let me just look through the sheet and see if there's any other notable things that would probably stick out about him at the moment. Aside from, like, the brief description that was given, he seems like, uh, Probably a slightly more important guard, only due to, like, the singular fact that he seems to have, like, some kind of on-top-of-the-armor piece of equipment. Resembling a cloak could honestly function kind of like a, uh... I, I forget what they're called, but you know, like, the, the cloaks that almost can look like capes? Like that. He's just wearing that, probably because, you know, nighttime quick, uh, is a little quick, bit on the cold uh, side now. Is it a cape of bellowing? Uh, compared to, like, probably the one that you guys would have picked up last week, uh, no, it doesn't really seem to be a cape of bellowing. Different make. As you're sitting at the bar enjoying your meal, you hear a voice from behind you. Tell me, stranger, how does one come to possess such a godly aura? You know, kind of like, look over with a slightly raised eyebrow and say, My godly aura? Well, hmm. Probably just a bit of how I particularly fight and defend those. I'm surprised, uh... Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh, probably due to how I fight and protect those I need to, I am surprised you noticed. Not hard, it's a trick I picked in my younger years. Hmm. To mention you have that woman stink upon He seems like a little bit confused and he'll say, my woman, you, who do you mean? I none other than the Avatar of War, Daitoro. Hmm. 
Uh, Cal just seems like, um, actually, I guess this would be an insight. Would it be an insight to tell if, like, he's particularly hostile or just really interested in this? Because... I guess, I don't know. Judgment check. Uh, inside with advantage since he's drunk, maybe? Alright, oh, that's the GM. Let me not do that real quick. By the way, it shows up on the <laughs> Yeah. 26 with the net. Second floor, nicely. Uh, hostility, if it's just, like, if he's, uh, upset about this, or if it's a just genuine interest one way or the other. More interesting. Hmm. He'll kind of, like, pick up, like, basically the half food that he's still got on his plate, and he'll make his way over since you seem to be just sitting by yourself and say, Huh, well, it makes two of us. What's your name? My former wife, I was known as Cal, so I've taken... Well... Since you can basically see through me a bit, let's not put up any facades. My name is Tyga. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's well met. It's someone of uh, your particular townstone around here. I'm traveling with a group trying to defeat people in its purest form. I see. Makes two of us. Town to stop a bomb threat. Vented from. Hmm. That's actually why I'm here too. You know, we could work together on this, just to get things done. I haven't seen anything out of the ordinary the past day, but, well, let's be honest, things don't have to be immediately apparent. Could be a delayed bombing. I hadn't thought of that. Yes, it is possible. I'm sure myself and my group would... Much appreciate assistance. Very well. Uh, who else is in your group? I don't see anyone else that seems like they have any particular skill in the room. The rest of my group is retired for the should meet most, if not all, of them. Very well. For now, let's just discuss what we know, and well, we'll discuss further information when the whole group is together. And, you know, on that note, Taiga would basically engage in, like, idle chatter, anything that uh, Taiga might have picked up on during his, like, basically work today. He kind of like exchange for any valuable information Cal might have. And more or less, Cal just catches Tyga up on player already now. All right. At the end of the night, uh, I don't know if Cal's the first to retire with Tyga, but Tyga would retire at like a strict like 10 p.m. and basically be ready for the morning at six sharp. So as we're walking out into the tavern after a very restful find ourselves by the Rubber 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 But someone new catches your eye. A woman sitting at the end of the bar by herself. Is of medium height and stocky build, not so much overweight as muscular. Her long red hair flows around her face and shoulders like a wall. 
who are surprised that she is being ignored by the other patrons. Are. After all, she is gorgeous. Her profile glows angelic, even in the dim light of the tavern. Does she have a picture? <laughs> <laughs> Cal's just like, nah, you see, we, we theater our mind this one. <laughs> Art's hard to find. Pretty much. Takes longer to. Yeah. So. Uh, so it looks like an angelic presence to her. Would I kind of have any like deeper insight with maybe a, a use of divine sense yeah. or anything of that well, sort? So it's morning. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Murray will walk out and find Cal right off the bat. She walks over. Here. Hey, how are you feeling? A little hungover, but otherwise. Come, meet my new compatriot, Taiga. Yo. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. What's your name? Fine sense, it doesn't... Angelic. So it's like an angelic presence, but nothing specifically celestial. Okay. A proper angel, she just has that kind of glow about her. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mar Maria will walk over and lends out her hand. Uh, so you'll be joining us, eh? For the time being, we have a similar interest, and if it's like basically an offer for a handshake, you'll shake the hand. Hmm, you're pretty cute, if I had to say. I accept this this one to join. Act as if I gave you choice. Ah, <laughs> uh, stop being cute. Walks over to the bar. As you approach the woman, you notice the five overturned glasses on the table, shaking hand wrapped around the sixth. She doesn't notice you at first as you. Climbs onto the stool. Oh my god, I just imagine a couple struggling to sit. Oh yeah, they have, to, they have to climb up there and then... I'm basically standing on the stool to reach the bar, uh, the bar so... Uh, you notice that she's currently engaged in a staring contest with the foam of her beer, clutching the handle of the glass so tightly her knuckles have gone white. I, uh, I poke her. It's like, are you okay, miss? Her eyes suddenly fall upon you. I'm good. No, no, I'm great. Today's fantastic. I'm fantastic. I love it here. Don't you love it here? She says with a voice that has a hysterical edge to it. I don't think you're okay. You know what? Bartender, Wait. around for my friends. Dwarven me. Basically you want to talk about it? House. Do, do you want to talk about it? Yes, let's talk over drink. She says that she hands you the drink she just ordered for you. <laughs> I don't yeah. want to be rude, but I'm really, like, I'm not good with alcohol. <laughs> Is this karma out of curiosity, DM? Uh, no, I had this encounter planned for two towns ago. <laughs> oh, damn. Sure, why not? Let's tempt fate, boys. Let me, let me activate my dis... I have the, uh, this, uh, advantage. Con save! I'm drunk. Well, that didn't take long. I go as well. She ordered a house. All right. Uh... Damn, Something Maria had the fucking net. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's uh, it's normal saving. Tragic. Throw. 
it's early in the morning, so it's it's got a slight buzz, but nothing that's gonna Pretty really much. impact me much. Now tell me, small friend, would you fancy a wager? Sure. See, where I come from, I'm the best drinker around. And I bet mm -hmm. I could drink everyone in this bar under the table. If you succeed yeah. in drinking me under the, t the table, I'll grant you any request you choose. Hold on, my mother's yelling. <laughs> um, she's probably yelling at, uh, of politics. Uh, sure. Um, I'm not really a, a drinker, as Maria's slightly wobbling. What, Maria, I have a disadvantage? Oh, no. I have a disadvantage for any alcohol because I'm a lightweight. <laughs> Oof. Automatic disadvantage for backstory. Self imposed. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, uh. But I just wanted, um. Uh, do I know what race she is? Good question. Put it down somewhere. Is she a dwarf? Because that's unfair. <laughs> a dwarf that wants to challenge someone to a drinking contest? No, that's unfair. Mountain dwarves are... It's not unknown. like... It's not like that's the thing that they love to do the most. <laughs> yeah, no shit. She is actually a high elf. A high elf? What is a high elf doing in here? <laughs> Whatever the fuck she pleases, it's a free continent. No, oh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> just... <laughs> um. So. I really. Hmm. What was her. Uh, what she was trying to bet for? Uh, if you could drink her under the table, she would grant any single request you made. And she specifically said she would drink everyone in the tavern under the table. I feel like, uh, Cal and Tiger at the other table, uh, Cal and see Tiger just kind of having, like, a little bit of, like, a is that a challenge kind of look to the face without, like, Staring at the women since we don't seem to be talking too low, and we're pretty close to them. Yeah, I'd be surprised if you don't like step in. Maria's just like, it's like, well, the thing is, I, I'm not really a drinker, but they, if I ever did win, I'd probably just ask you to tell me about your life. But okay. To get to know you better. Okay, she orders the first round of the competition. Oh, second round. So I have to do some rolls, huh? Yep, everyone does. All right. I'll let everyone else do Perfect. their roles. Not under the table, but still drunk. <laughs> that fucking eight again. The eight's like, you see, this is your exact tolerance for mead. <laughs> 
We got another eight. Let's, you might as well just take an eight from me every time. <laughs> I have a check one feature man just to see. There we go. I just want to know more about this woman and why she's upset. And a bar patron's pass as well. Rhea's just getting more drunk and drunk. <laughs> Mia's like, uh Rhea. Oh wait until she starts to flirting with her. Already doing that? Yeah, even more flirting. So, uh, while I'm about to take another drink, uh, so, uh, what, what is it, a beautiful thing like yourself, uh, doing in these, uh, these parts? Eh, just looking for a bit of fun, I suppose. Yeah. You can get mighty drab where I'm from. Oh, really? Where are you from? Can't really say. Uh... I hear a dog whining in the background. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. Um, I was on top of these concepts this morning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Is there another round coming? Whoa. Let's see if I crash. <laughs> oh, fuck. Rhea's out at the bar already. As Cal and Tiger are pounding down this dwarven meat like fucking champions. It was like Ooh. the first one that might have taken us a little bit like a, ooh, that's kind of strong. And then we're just like, now nah, we can end this. I'll be right back. Uh, can you, uh, if, if I have to roll, I will, until I pass out on the ground, um, I keep rolling me. I need to do something. All right. That's an oof for uh, one group of people or her. <laughs> That's random bar patron over here. This man's done. Another man getting real tipsy after his third one. Mm -hmm. I think he said it was cool to go without him as long as uh, he's, uh, he'll keep drinking until he passes out, so. Unless there's like more dialogue, which if there is, I'm cool at waiting. But yeah, I guess to justify like the uh, really good modifier, it's I guess probably not even like pacing alcohol like you you do when you're really trying to win a competition he's just drinking like this is like these are the past two rolls on his end have been like almost average roll so it's like he's just doing a bit of a shrug surprised cal's continuing to roll this high <laughs> well, we got a plus he, he's high. a gnome right i'm to be honest i guess probably a little bit surprised too like oh damn little tiny fella and Oh, I got a plus two to Khan, because Khan was his dump stat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, technically, if we're just chilling at the same table, we're probably not more than ten feet away. You get, like, a five bonus to your saves, just because Aura. That's, I don't think I can turn that off particularly, unless I, I'm just like, I fail a save voluntarily, so... <laughs> Might grab a quick snack. 
we have? Everybody return? I'm here, I don't think Maria's back. Still mute. Also, poor doggo in the background. Puppy, I don't point. Challenge. for later. Do something right there. High enough to make that save, though. But oh, it's the save exactly fourteen. <laughs> I'm not even close. Oh. Bell still rolling, huh? Right, for, for some reason, this really, really strong alcohol is just having an effect. <laughs> Not whatsoever. Like the fact that he got trashed off the same thing in one round. <laughs> really? Damn. Irons. Oh, that's on my end, I believe. Back. Hey, welcome back. We uh, did one more round of rolls. Uh, if you want to do the dial. Did I, did I fail? Horribly. Oh no. I mean, it, compared to like the last two, you did better. You <laughs> went from an 8 to a 13. <laughs> last one was a 6. Oh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I thought the I thought that two modifier above the 19 was uh, Maria's because of the two number thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was about to say, like, well, was the six. last one, the one before that was a six. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Random Maria will... patron makes the save as well. Card patron's, like, looking at, you, looking at me and is like, I'm not done yet! The bartender is probably having himself a consider of maybe we should put this one upstairs so she can rest because <laughs> at a certain point at a certain point the bar will stop serving you. <laughs> uh, oh man, this is a bad mistake for Maria. I'm actually Maria. curious. What does your uh, aura exactly do? Uh, it's a bonus to all saving throws as long as I'm conscious, equal to my charisma modifier. So it doesn't specify what type of uh, save at all. Uh, technically, I think that even means ally death saves, but not my own death saves. Yeah, because you're conscious. I should have used uh, enhance ability before uh, doing this. Oh. <laughs> you out here trying to cheat. <laughs> Listen, she didn't make any rules. Technically. Are you right? <laughs> Technically, both Kale and Taiga could be curing themselves of drunkenness. <laughs> yeah, and we, the worst part is only the other person would know because we're like the two. Uh, we're like the only two paladonic figures here. Because I don't think you said she really has like any kind of like armor, big weapon. She doesn't really fit the mold. Hmm. But yeah. Anyway, on to <laughs> we're just chilling. Miss Maria has any dialogue to offer this woman? Move on to the fifth set of drinks. I 
take that as a no. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, can I can I ask you a question? If I have enhanced ability, does that mean I just rolled normally? Yeah. Actually, With the self thing. Uh, fuck it. Yeah. Um, go without it. Three! Yeah, Marie is TKO'd. Damn it! Uh, just to keep up with, uh, with Kev. Actually, was Kev the 16? The Cobalt pass out. The 16. Hmm. Let me read what something does. Because I haven't used this that much. Uh, Random bar page from his L. <laughs> Random bar picture. Yeah, <laughs> well, let's see what our what our challengey rolls. Cause I'm like, hmm. <laughs> you you just hear Maria uh, after downing it, it just re and then passes out. <laughs> like actual re. Oh no. But yeah. yeah um, well, she had an isekai a master, so who might had uh, who occasionally did that. Is our uh, is our challenge a challengey um, rolling or because uh... I don't know if I want to use this one thing because I could it's kind of like a I don't think it has a visual tell or whatever. Uh, she's not rolling properly. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I mean, the wor the worst that could happen is it fails, and I I don't think this will save me in a later one anyway. So we'll do this. Uh, so a nineteen, is from this thing. And I don't think there's a visual tell from that. It's just kind of like a thing that does every short rest. Damn it! I won't be able to ask her what her, her life dream it. Um, her life. Uh... <laughs> Well, I mean, we heard the question you wanted to ask. Unless we got something else specific we want to ask, we could. Mm -hmm. Okay, final yeah. set of drinks. All right. Sit here. Modifier. Oh. For some reason, I feel like she's important. Another 19. The lowest I rolled was a 19. Hell yeah. That was my lowest roll. Uh, with the modifier, yeah. Oddly enough, the other one was 15. That's 14. Yeah. <laughs> Kel's definitely not sober, but he's not pissed yet. I felt like Tag is doing the equivalent of drinking wine that he's kind of used to. Like, yeah, there's a buzz, but, I mean, 12 modifier, I mean, I don't think much can get him drunk. This is just a bad day. I'm surprised this high elf had uh, more con than anything else. Don't be judging books by their covers. <laughs> I've played a high con uh, elf, it was really fun. After we all finish our sixth flagon of dwarven mead, and she turns around to see who's still able to keep their feet, so to speak. And seeing Cal and Tiger both still completely conscious, not a little tipsy, uh, she congratulates us for completing her challenge and asks for a request. I think I'll see what, like, Cal wants to ask first, because better to tailor a question to someone else's need. Plus, he's no around here. He doesn't exactly know what would be a good question to ask. Hey, you want to bang? <laughs> Bruh, <laughs> that's Maria's question. <laughs> no, actually, she wouldn't know her life story, so. We'll, we'll see what uh, what question Cal goes for and. Hey, this is also me being like, I don't know what to ask. <laughs> now we'll go over to pick her up. 
she were attached to you. Completely unconscious. Yes. Burn some of that lay on hands pool and go ahead and cure you of your drunkenness. Oh. oh. You won. Ask your question. Um, but I didn't win. Heard to me, and I don't care. You're the only one that seemed interesting. Oh. Conscious. Okay. Thank you, sweetie. Okay, sweetie. <laughs> Um, um, Cal's gonna let his intimidating presence slip. <laughs> <laughs> angry numb time. <laughs> oh, you're so cute when you're angry. You get a wisdom save for that. <laughs> I have to wisdom save for that. Isn't yeah. that channel divinity like you? You what, mate? <laughs> oh wait, uh, that was a. Uh... I'm about to say even the die doesn't pass. Oh my god. Like, only for a moment, you're filled with sheer terror at Cal's. Just his sheer presence. So I love you. Um. Spit on ice cream. <laughs> Smooth. Um. So I will ask the lady if, um, what's her life story, if, um, if she's okay with that. I have to be a little more specific. Well. And write a full backstory for every character. Yeah. <laughs> this is Lord of the Rings. Every twig doesn't need a legend. Well, I was wondering, like, who are you and um and what are you um and where you're from and stuff? Just a puppy. Mark, puppy. puppy. I want to pet the puppy. I need an adorable. Oh. Uh, you're gonna have to send pictures. If I remember to. This whole. <laughs> she will reveal her name to be Tyrius. Where she's from, she cannot say still. Give me, give me a religion check. Yay, religion checks. I'll make my own really? moment, sorry. Everyone do religion check. Religion. Oh. So any particular religion I'd be familiar with with my um that was a shit connection roll. with the elves and my longer connection with home? Possible. Okay. Uh, I'll roll it flat unless it's advantage. We'll see. Let's scroll down. Where is it? There it is. 19. Look at that. A not, a not 10 up mod for my int checks. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I don't know a lot. I know just enough. Yeah, it's a plus 9. Like, because he's... <laughs> yeah. But, uh, Val and Tyga both recognize that name. Cool. Do I have the name in the chat? Huh? Name in the chat, just so I know how it's, like, spelled? Uh, I have a note here. Okay. I'm currently eating steak. <laughs> There's not a lot about it. Yep. 
I love it how some days my mic becomes like very loud, and, like yeah, people can hear it, but some days it's just quiet. I don't know. But anyway, Tiger now realizes why, uh, since that angelic presence, this woman is a goddess. Oh shit. Oh. Specifically, the goddess of drink and debauchery. Oh. Huh. This makes a lot of sense. <laughs> but, um, they kind of look like a little bit of surprise because, I mean, goddess right there. But it's not like the biggest shocker. It's, it would be a bigger shocker if, like, the, like the, the god of balance decided to say, you know what, fuck it, do, drink do you, time. <laughs> do you mention this out loud for everyone? Nah, he, he would let them reveal it if they're going to. If not, then I'm sure they know that he knows. So. Hell, she's got a big eyebrow raise moment going. Maria, Maria has completely... her head tilted with no idea who she is. Maria's just completely in the dark. Just thinks, ooh, pretty face. Yeah. So, what brings you this, uh, you just, you're just having some fun and stuff like that in town? Yes, where I come from, it's quite boring most days. So, yeah. every millennia or so, I come down here to see what folks are up to. Come down? Tilted her head. Sorry, Freudian slip is it? Like the Freud does not exist in the universe. <laughs> what was that? Your mic cut out for me. The fact that she just used the expression Freudian slip when Freud does not exist in this universe. Oh. Oh no, fourth wall breaking. <laughs> She's a goddess, it's fine. Don't become Pinkie Pie, please. I'm gonna get enough of that. Um. Alright. So it seems like my question's done, huh? More or less. Eh. You got, like, well. Hmm. You said Does this individual was a red-headed high elf, right? So what was the, uh, I think there was uh, one more other person had a question, right? Oh, just you. Oh. Oh. I thought there was going to be two questions coming out. I'll put this in general, in case it's something you would like to use, Mike. So what are you planning after this, uh, after this encounter, huh? I figure your dog's familiar. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, what? Who's your character? In the in the server, I posted a picture of like a possible reference image for those at home. Uh. Who's that? Is that the girl what she looks like? Well, it depends on uh, if he uses it. If not, then no. <laughs> then if she is, that is fucking badass. No, she may appear again. Yes. And now she'll pay her tab and make her exit from the bar. Uh, I hope to see you again soon. Maybe we can hang out. Until at that, uh, that when we meet again, I'm going to basically do enhance ability, inspiration myself, and a bunch of other things. <laughs> so, is so God gonna see, see you cheating and it. be like, I then chief? <laughs> I'm going to, um, if I ever win, there are going to 
be some weird shit that's going to happen. <laughs> Next time you get all prepared for a drinking contest, she comes in with an axe throwing contest and just fucks your whole game up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because possible godly being, um, what Tiger will do is he'll uh, basically throw like a. Um, I don't think prayer is the technical word for it, but like basically he's going to pay respects and thank her for the challenge. Fair enough. Also, uh, Maria is sketching out what she looks like and um, and writing her name down in her journal. <laughs> cool role performance. <laughs> <laughs> Being a bard, you should have no problem with. Oh yeah, perfect likeness. Hell yeah, I love that twelve. <laughs> Probably like the one thing you have an eye in. Even if I roll a two, I end up performing pretty good. Quite ridiculous. Yep. Oh, look at that. It's a tie between acrobatics and religion. 12 plus 9. Uh, um. So, Maria, should we be planning our venture back home? Hell yeah! I can't wait to get the uh, to see my kid as I walk up to him. <laughs> Out of curiosity, the moment I mentioned the kid, um, is <laughs> what's your reaction to it, John? Tiger like wouldn't have too much of a visible reaction. Uh, if people wanted to do like an insight versus passive decept, it'd probably be like a. You see, like, a slight bit of concern in the eyes, but, like, he's not out here trying to judge people. It's just kind of <laughs> like, you uh, know. Please hmm. don't kill my husband when you meet him. <laughs> my boyfriend or something. No, it's, it's the fact that you mentioned that you've got, like, a, a kid and it's like, yeah, adventuring. All right. <laughs> That's on you. But, uh, yeah, he wouldn't necessarily, like, say or look too much in, like, a particular reactive sense. He just kind of would... Do we have any idea when or... any ships are, uh, leaving port soon? Go back to the mainland? I answer to spring. I am a snack on there. Uh, fairies are coming and going pretty regularly. Still fairly early in the morning, so we could probably catch one today if we chose so. Is there anything else that you guys need before we leave? Not really, but we should plan what, where we're going. I assume or our new friend home, will right? have to gather his belongings. I carry, uh, for the most part, minimal stuff. Uh, okay, so we have our option. Can return. Can return back to Snowspire Cove, where we originally sailed here from, or we can sail for Aquatus Bay. Town that is much closer to. Yeah. And. Is that our house over there? Uh, yes, the house icon is. Yay! And the castle icon is where your giant spider currently resides. <laughs> My wizard spider. Big. Hmm. Yeah. I forgot about my uh, giant spider as I mentioned this to the party. 
Yeah, in that one, he'll give you, like, that slight eyebrow judge, like, you've got a giant spider, because... Yeah, I, I, uh, like a, I, I used the wish to become friends with a spider, um, but it was it was in Smart Spire, and there was no way we could take it anywhere. You didn't wish it, Ted. Um, then it crossed my mind. <sighs> All right. <laughs> So we're headed for Aquatus Bay then. I'm all right, uh, heading to there. Yeah. Um, Tiger would periodically ask, like, what, what does the group kind of think would be, like, their next real mission, if they have anything in mind, since he knows that Cal's about, you know, destroying evil where he can. Doesn't really know any of Maria's agenda, aside from traveling with the kid. <laughs> It's like the most he's gotten. Hmm. But he'd be curious, like, you know, what's the, like, the overarching plan? Is there anything that the group's heading towards, or is it just traveling for travel's well, sake we have, right now? Uh, we'd probably bring out the map and just point where we're heading. Fair enough. Now we'll go on to explain that we're heading to our home being. To fence uh, a couple jobs or so with the Adventures Guild. Tiger would be familiar with. Eh, fair Before, enough. Or while their search group is combing any information they can find, trying to locate the next picture they're going. Still have that. Uh, a couple sessions back. About uh, sorry, about uh, the other group from the Bell Robin Bandits in Illendale. Hmm. I wonder how much um how many points we'll get from the our uh, the venture guild. Oh, got a fairly decent stipend of points from that dragon. Now, yeah, and not only that is the the Kraken. Yeah. Oh, hey, wait. Uh out of curiosity, um as I look at the new guy, uh are you um a venture guild member? You're better on one. And also, um, uh, Cal, I think we need to get you um, get your adventure member uh, card updated. It's not as if because... you have picture ID. Yeah, well, you're you were um, you're a gnome now. You are a warforged. They they. They they will think that you're still Warforge, and you th they will think that you're uh, someone else. Unless you want to start over again. Discuss it when the time arrives. <laughs> Till then, put it to the back of our. <laughs> As he begins packing up his blog. Maria I go basically go get his sword, his shield. Yeah. You, you just see Maria, um, uh, out of curiosity, John, what would your character react weirdly when Ma Maria will bring out her book and look at some things and then put it back in her bag? Um. Or is he? Yeah, so I'm like, I don't know if there's any, like, from so where I come from in the game. position I was in, I don't know if there's any Particular meaning that book would have, or so he doesn't see like if the script. Yeah, it's like it, it, the script would be the only thing I'd imagine could mean something to me, and even then, like not the, a lot. Depends the on the front of the end. book has a, uh, words on the front of it. I just wanted to know if he will have if his character will sense power or something like that. 
That's Ethereum is basically at the... my my the my books are basically magical power ha has. I mean, I could probably identify it, but you know, that's uh, the thing of I, I don't know. Like I said, the only thing I probably would stand out just face value because I don't think your book is like oozing magic. It has a lot of magic, but it doesn't have to ooze it. The script might mean something, and that's up to the DM. Otherwise, I don't think a random book someone pulls out would peak. Well, I thought you that sent much. auras and shit, so. I, so he can, but it's you're thinking detect magic, chief. I, what I have oh. is the equivalent of I know when a fiend or a celestial or whatever's near me. That's okay, different. I just want to know if that type Creature of thing. Of I power, have. not thing of power. Okay. So yeah, I don't know um, what Mike's ruling is on the script, but otherwise, no. <laughs> I love how I can't, um, for some odd reason, my headset is like, have died, so I can only hear from one ear. I cannot find the price where Kurt would be. How much does it cost to get across the, uh, in the trolley? Does it cost money or, or doesn't? Uh, the first time we won a ride across. We won a ride, uh, won across. Oh, there goes my neck. All good. No. I need to go get the chiropractor done. Right. I forgot I got a plus one sling. You got a plus one sling. Nice. Yeah. I got that from the... the... color roll. Uh, you got it from the shop before. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got it from the shop. I'll mark it down, though. Up the price on that later, but I can't go in town to buy a cart and quite difficult to manage his now rebuilt exoskeleton with his previous armor. Cool. You have pictures of what this thing looks like, or you're working on it? So basically, the inside parts of Cal's old body. Ha! <laughs> Without the armor attached, as the armor was too damaged. Well, you can always so, melt it down. You make a cheap and efficient construct out of what you already have, do it. <laughs> Possibly the cheapest way ever to build an iron golem. I think you need like 50 grand just to get the book of golem. Buying a cart so you can transport that. I got a, I got oh, a I campaign really where it. it's a water. Head to the docks to charter a ship. Really, just had to pay for that. All right, everyone pulled together. How much is it for bring? Uh, this is. How do you find better ways to make money now? I'm good. I I'm gonna miss Nella helping us pay uh get money. Not like the rest of us don't have jobs that make. I'm a bard, but a sage, not an entertainer. I can kill people for money. And, like, it, it's funny. Cal kills people for money. Um, 
That's something that Tiger would tell you over like the boat trip, so it's chill to just throw it out there now. Um, he uh, is basically a one-person bodyguard for people that need it, and usually his service gets like paid very well because pay one person a lot of money or pay multiple people a little money, right? Yeah. Well, I um, I'll let you do that. I'm gonna get some more. Uh... Munchies. Yeah, I'm just uh, waiting to see what I think he's looking for price and stuff. Um, if you don't have a uh, price predetermined, Mike, we'll pay for it later. At, le at least what uh, we could pay for it later. Uh, at least what I do in my game, I don't know if this is actually by the book price, but I just say like um, for a proper like traveling across like a large body of water, if it's 25 gold. If it's a short body of water, 10 gold. Because about right. it's like it's enough that a level like three group could afford it, but it's probably something they have to earn to. Okay. We'll go with twenty channel here. All right. Did I have the character sheet? Oh, below a hundred gold again. I was looking at my sheet and I'm like, what's Conjure Volley? What? I gotta like figure out where that's coming from in its uh, later spell I'm supposed to get from a archetype thing. I'm like, what? Because <laughs> it doesn't really fit what I've got going on with them, but I mean, I'll probably use it. It's a level you can cast, right? No, like fifth. <laughs> it's like either top of my uh, paladin or when I get that, like, through a couple of hybrid and... Man, I have so many spells that, like, they fit, but they don't, and I don't feel right being like, well, can I just change this for this? Hero Pal has got some specific spells. Interesting, but specific. <laughs> I think that I choose to just always have advantage on intelligence. Checks and saves. Oh, uh, is there like an option for that? I uh, know some in Gnome. I have no fighting which is on intelligence with Christmas saves against me. Yeah. And Mistwalker. Got expansive mind. It's. Or I make an ability check using intelligence. Or I, you know, come as I can. In addition, I only get that one every short run. The other one is every single time. Did we get like a? Did we get like XP from that? Cause 
Did you level up now, or did you level up like a week ago? Okay. Wait, um, what level like are you still? What, what level are you at? Are we both 11? I think. Yeah, 11. I'm at level 10 still. Yeah, I mean, we still have to catch you up because uh, that's just the that's just the oof from like earlier when you were like two levels behind. Now you're only one. So we're getting better with it. We're getting closer. <laughs> Eventually, some one on one time with something, get caught up. Sign Maria up for an arena battle. Maria's like, I ah, don't exactly fight now. You'll be fine. <laughs> You'll be fine. Just shiv up a bunch of times. Shock the crap out of some people. Don't worry. We'll be buffing you from the stands when in reality we're not actually doing anything more than cheering her on. Is that loud anyway? Oh. Would you be able to buff people from the stands and stuff? And They can't prove we're doing it. It didn't happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and when you've got hundreds of rowdy fans, it's hard to know what's happening. All right, we're getting across the uh, bar. Right, if we do anything flash, you like launch a fireball into the arena. <laughs> That'll probably get noticed. But like something like healing word, I know there's a verbal component, but you could probably just do that as like you're chanting, like you know you're cheering from the crowd and disguise that. Well, if you had um um a familiar, you could cast it through the familiar. That's, yeah, that's but your familiar wounds. would have to go down into the arena and climb on that person. <laughs> I was thinking about like you have that creature that looks like a um um oh talk about Archie yeah the one that looks like a bat owl my good sir oh, <laughs> oh I thought you had one that looked like a bag <laughs> no you're, st you're talking about Moses. Yeah, Bozo is a uh, mimic. Currently not here. Oh. Did he? He sleep. Did he die when um? No, I left him back okay. in town before we left. Oh. He's probably just been chilling around the house. <laughs> Bombing on the first man comes near. <laughs> he turns it. He turns into the mailbox. There's two mailboxes. Most <laughs> man has anxiety. Turned to one hundred. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Put your hand in the wrong one. You might not get it back. <laughs> but anyway, as the party gathers their belongings and. Heads out into the street. They're met with a warm yet crisp air of the budding spring. Uh, in the distance, docked in the port, they see the ferry that will ferry them across the water. Wait, a ferry that is ferry crossing the water? Yes, it's a ferry. Oh, it's a ship, but it will also ferry us across the water. Turn a phrase. Mario just looks at it and bliss, like blankly and then tracks out laughing. The boat. No, um I was, I thought you said the the one who's piloting it is a, a ferry. No, the ship is No no, no he was saying ferry as an F E R R Y. Yeah. Oh no no, I thought my, yeah, he what, the what I'm tracking out was I thought there was a ferry that was actually piloting the the boat of the ferry to the other island. Yeah, the ferry that is ferrying us to the other. Okay, because um, I, I did, that's just like that would be hilarious. Pausing for a moment to take in the gravity of everything they've experienced on the isle, they quickly move through the city and make their way to the ship. Shortly after everyone's on board, the ship departs for its destination. Uh, you gotta enjoy enjoy the house when you get there. We all pitched the original uh, the original group 
pitched in and and uh, paid for it. Hmm. Also, right, well. we get a, we also got um, an army of goblins helping it out. So it kind of gives like a bit of an eyebrow raise, and goblins, I feel like, to him and his people would kind of be on like that fine line of kill that, let it be. Hmm. So he just kind of like raised an eyebrow and says, all right. We had, um, wait, what's your character, a hobgoblin? Or on my old one was a hobgoblin, yeah. Yeah. I tell you the tale of the hobgoblin battle. He probably recognizes who it is just after like the descriptions given and probably the name being thrown. But, you know, he just kind of listens and he appreciates the tale. Well, all right. As long as they're the more tame sort, uh, many also the, the goblins, clans, and all that. Uh, yeah, the the tale was not. also Western music <laughs> tone to it. It came with a song. I was gonna do that, but um, actually make it a real thing. But I kind of got distracted with the other work. <laughs> But yeah. First day of sailing is bright and sunny with fair easterly wind. Ship gently along the tide. The day seems almost perfect until around six o'clock at night, sudden fog roll. Great. The fog is so hey. thick you can barely see your own nose through. And in fact, if Cal doesn't talk, you don't even know he exists. Cal? Are you there? Standing right next to you, not need to. Ah! I don't. I can't see you. Comes with. I can't see your gorgeous face. Nor that. <laughs> so this is um. How do you run fog? Like, is it just something that certain types of creatures are adept at seeing through, or is it like pretty much no creatures are unlike darkness, where darkness can be seen through? Uh, I think you'd need a different form of sight, so sensor paper, unless you're physically adept at seeing in fog. As as okay. Mr. Walker being. Yeah. Uh, there's probably a no, but I might as well throw it out there. Um, there is this spell. You could just read the name at the top, sorry for the wall text. Um, what if I would I kind of, like, use that to just adept my eyes at being able to see relatively good through this? Because probably not going to be cow vision, but it's better than a five-foot vision. <laughs> Since uh, it says you can give yourself like claws, you can like get gills. It's like I, I don't know if like a slight change of eye composition would help with it. it. Does say you can make yourself appear as a member of a race, though none of change. Don't think that hmm. makes sense. Hmm. Damn. Okay. So. Wow, how useful that would be if uh, you you were a part of the group when we felt that the uh, the. Uh... I mean, Aaron used that to like yeah, say, to do a bit of flying. Times. Yeah, it's a, it's a really useful spell, especially you can, like fly. Sometimes seeing the, sometimes depending on the DMC through darkness, because you just basically say, "Hey, I want to have tiefling eyes," and the like. <sighs> Me. Yeah. Uh, fog persists through. Okay. Hope not. There's anything bad in there. Traveling. I go spend this night specifically if the fog's like pretty intimidating and thick. He'll spend the night basically keeping watch. Um. I can't fail the first 
con save of exhaustion, so he'll just kind of do that one vigilant night watch if people need to sleep. Because hmm. you don't mess around with something like this when you're on the ocean. Pretty much. Well. Let's hope the guy up in the crow's nest well as hell can. <clears throat> I'm the more Warrior like epic sure. foreshadowing for ten seconds from now. <laughs> foreshadowing <laughs> Right in your face foreshadowing. And the more you are awakened by the sound of splintering wood and a hard shake through the entirety of the ship. Oof. Oh, come on! Uh, being that I'm still probably up top, what side of the ship would this have come from? Front or...? Right in the front. Hmm. Tiger will be kind of like the first person to just basically get, like, our, um... What do we call them, Captain? Just... Do they have a name like Pilot or something? Captain. Right, just Captain. Captain. Basically get the captain away from the possible danger and uh, basically wait for the rest of the group as I'm sure they're probably running up real quick to see what's going on uh, so we can see what threat we have to face because Tiger's going to prioritize the people of the ship, you know, more than himself. You, you see a very pissed off uh, Cobalt coming upstairs. I mean, fair. Looks like she didn't have her coffee. What's coffee? <laughs> Physical speed. Uh, you wanna, you wanna grow some of those magical beans in this world? <laughs> I thought no. there is coffee in this world. Oh, I've never read the options for Frank. <laughs> I know one game I was in had a uh, coffee become like basically an alchemical mixture, <laughs> and I'm yeah. like, oh hell yeah. Um, here's an actual potion. That <laughs> makes you hyper aware for a while. Hmm. In um, in one of my Waterdeep campaigns, uh, coffee is basically like um, given to the ri like the rich and stuff. Anyway, the fog is still uh, still around, not quite as thick, but still it's impossible to determine Cal from anything else on the. Cal, what did we hit? I wasn't on deck. Cal, just... get up here. Either you don't bond. Quite Somehow the uh, crashing of the ship didn't seem to stir Cal from his sleep. Oh my god. Uh, since the I, uh, is I, I, I go into uh, Kel's room and says, uh, Kel, if you don't wake up, I'm going to do things to you. <laughs> Bruh. Does that wake him up? Um, Angie Draconic Whammon Scream. Only persuasion. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm up. I'm up. <laughs> oh, I was gonna hope you uh, you'd go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, you only rolled an 18 on the save to stay asleep. <laughs> First one was a 21.
Okay, never, this is the situation. Um, Alright, is he upstairs? No, we're still in his bunk. And yeah, uh, uh, we were just ran into something. And, uh, Hal, um, able to be seen, is he getting dressed without awareness of the fact? Oh, yeah. Um, Mur is just sitting at the door. Just watching. It wouldn't matter anyway, you can't see Cal. Basically just seeing his clothes vanish as he comes into contact. Raised eyebrow. See that much. Um. This, this episode got really weird. Yeah, we just uh, uh, truly ran into something. <laughs> okay, I'm We coming. might be taking water. So what was that, the crew is already here, so we'll probably not eat it down there. No, but I have a feeling we, we might have crashed into something, or... Someone crashed into us. Our way up to the main deck. Foggy is a fucker. Tiger would be basically ready to attack anything that threatens those trying to do repairs. Um, unless, like, they, no, they went downstairs, right? So it's probably it's still up. Smart. So he's probably upstairs trying to investigate, like, what exactly is going on, if there's, like, any, like, sounds that are being made from a potential threat. You know, stuff like that. Basically protecting whoever is, like, still too stubborn to go downstairs instead of being up top. Perception? Alright. Uh, um... My sentinel shield's gonna let me have advantage on this one, so let's see. With that, it's a 22. Good job. Nothing more than the creaking of splintered wood and the lapping of the gun. I get more than one. More than one surface, okay. Did we crash into a fucking island or something? I mean, that's what Tag is about to check because if I'm not hearing anything. Yeah. Cal, you can see the through the. Uh... Yeah, I'll point that out to Cal as you guys come upstairs after I'm listening about. Cal, can you see what we crashed into? Sure, let me take a look. It's like we hit an island of some sort. Wait. What? Hmm. Was just Maria just like, wait, what? Yes, I mean, it's, it's not unheard of. Seems we've run a crowd of, uh, Bush Island. Here. Seems to be much sand, though. It's kind of... Hmm. Alright, give me a moment. Uh... Take I don't a, care if a... Murray goes blind. Murray will activate uh, Detect Magic. Alright, well I was about to pray to try and do that, but you got it. You got more spell slots than me. <laughs> uh, other than the obvious equipment that we're carrying, nothing innately magical. So the, ma uh, the fog isn't magical. Alright. Fog. Fog is magical, and uh, I look at, at the new person. <laughs> I look at John. What was your character's name again? I forgot. Tyga. Tyga. I look at Tyga. I think I remember, remember your name. Uh, um, I mean, it's just doing right there. It's right in the chat. Yeah. Okay, uh, Tyga. Um, I'm looking at you with a, uh, a magical. Um, what do I see on you? You see a magical sword. Like that cloak cape that I was talking about, and uh, 
a small headpiece in his hair with a, a another accessory of a ring. The armor seems to kind of confuse your sense. It's not necessarily magic, but it doesn't necessarily look mundane. Hmm. Out of character, that's my best way of describing what the hell a magic item that's really just metal supposed to be. So. <laughs> It's like, it's not really magically enchanted, it's just, better. you probably needed magic to forge it than anything else. Yeah. Marie will mention, oh, that's a nice, pretty uh, thing that you got in your hair. Hmm. Very, very magical. <laughs> uh, since you probably be able to see, like, an outline, it kind of looks like, um, a circlet, but it's a very thin one. It's basically well hidden underneath his hair. Yeah. Maria mentions magical, and <laughs> to you, he just kind of gives you like that acknowledging hmm, as he's kind of like looking forward, and he's right. just basically like hearing that the fog isn't necessarily magic. He's a bit confused, but there's an interest there. Interesting. So this, this is not magical fog. So is the island glowing when I look over to the bottom, the ground? It's not. Okay, the ground the ground is not magical. It means it's a solid island with natural fog. Though, for a place to have this much fog in spring, that's a bit odd. Why, why do I really want to play a pirate song? I mean, go for it. Rather than loop it, um, but I gotta say it's interesting, but it depends on people aboard the ship. Does it warrant exploration? Is um, uh, hey, Captain. Right. Out of curiosity, since we ran into ground and came across an island, uh, how long do you think the fixes will be done? Couple hours. Yeah. You guys want to uh, jump out and explore a little bit? Nothing better to do. All right. Well, you, you're going to be our guide anyway, so. I can dispel my own. You probably can dispel other fog if you can do that with yours. Oh. Uh, I mean, that's how I would roll it. I was going to do dispel magic, but. Like, how I would roll it is if you can dispel your fog, you could probably dispel other fog as well. It's like the, uh. It's like being able to see through magic darkness. You probably see through other people's magic darkness too. I mean, what really changes, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't actually have the ability to spell my own fog. It goes away after a minute, huh? Hmm. The only times I've really first that this kind of left out of it go faster than 10 miles. Do the math that it now actually <laughs> Okay. So we disembark our ship and step onto this island. holds firm under your feet like just any other ordinary island our bushes and trees are as seen all sorts of lush vegetables hmm. yeah
Tiger's kind of taking like a... He's standing at the side of whoever one of the two of you would be in a more like leading role. And he's just kind of taking in what he can see since Fog is lessened and... Like I said, there's an interest there, but there's a lot of caution. He's got his like sword ready to be drawn and his shield already in his hand. That's something. Since Cal can properly see through it, uh, would Cal rather be enhanced by the effect, or would he let uh, someone else be enhanced for the sake of memory, like memorization of past travel? Because I do have enhance ability, and I'm not sure uh, who I want to give it to. <laughs> I guess. I only have a one in survival, so. Oof. You've got like literally like one point less, but you can actually see through it, so. <laughs> why, why is yeah, it... and then go for the advantage. Uh... Advantage for it. So. Oh. I mean, I'll, I'll take. <laughs> you already have it. It's just my That's why like, he would ask in character. Got the off the tag. Go for it. earlier for the cut. Fucking tan on that. Sixteen. One for Maria. Come on, you stupid fucking headphones. Language. Mm. Whoa! The uh, earmuff just fell off from it. Alright, we need a survivor roll. You guys still? Are they guys there? Survival. Yeah, you need to make a skill check, Maria. All right, survival check. Do I have to make it disadvantage? Both okay. advantage for checks. Yeah. We're just doodling down our path as we go along, as Cal leads them blindly around this island. Doesn't know where the fuck he's going. What is it always Maria knows where she's going? Like I feel like Tyke is probably like course correcting Cal whenever it's like, uh, you know, we're going to somewhere we've already been. Just l points it out since he might not know the exact path that we've traveled, but he'll pick out like the details like. Certain specific rocks, trees, anything that like stands out. Um. After wandering around for a while, you come across the remains of a well constructed and architecturally sound building made of stone. On one face of the building is a large and ornate door. Well, you either found an abandoned place or a very interesting. Like, what what does it look like? Does it look like a like a stronghold or like what kind of building we talking? Uh, 
looks almost like a temple. Temple? Or at least what it used to be. Hmm. I'll point that out and say that it looks like a very interesting temple, especially with it being somewhere like this. It's lost. We're in the Lost series. Well. You two ready to check out what this place is since... Uh, I don't think we're rolling. gonna find something more of interest than this. Sure, why not? History? A religion. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I'd probably make a religion, if anything. Nope. Uh, again, if it has anything to do with uh, Tiger, let me know. Otherwise, I'll roll it flat. Let's see. Scroll down. Uh, let's see. Okay. Thirteen. So it might have something, but not a lot. That means anything to me. Uh, you have no. Oh. Hell does recognize some of the picture. Oh. Is unsure of the name of the god that they were here. Well, shall we go inside? Sure. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen's first. <laughs> Gives you a bit of a smirk since. I mean. You do look like more of a backliner, but it's, a, it's the opposite of how it usually goes. God doesn't want to take the lead on the inside. Uh, Tiger will, if he does, since he can actually see it's up to him. Uh, as we go to pull the door open, we find it stuck fast. It seems like with a decent amount of effort, we could get it open. Looks around for a lever. Tiger, so like, if Maria says that she's gonna look for a lever, uh, let them take a look around. Uh, Tiger like is mentally being ready to just kind of force the door open because if it looks like it can be, he could probably do it reasonably. But yeah, uh, DM is he making like an investigation check to find a lever or? Um, uh, survival again. Okay. And you find a decently sturdy stick, a four feet in length, made of a dense wood. Can it be what I'm looking for? Yeah. Hey. I pulled the stick out, or pull it. Anything with the stick, or you just hold that? <laughs> he was hoping that it was like a stick in the ground that he could lever pull it. <laughs> yeah. Got a four foot long sturdy stick. What do I do with this stick? Think of the uh, fa favorite cobalt game that I have. Was it Pinata? No, uh, cobalt uh, adventure thing. One of these days, I want to put a link. But I feel like the laugh check would be played more than a traditional Disney show, you know? Let's be real here. I damn it. Sound like an episode of Friends up in here. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, how are you progressing with your stick over there? Yeah. Um. Uh, I don't know what. Do you have any ideas, guys? I well, I was going to. I don't know deeply about the wilderness. 
I was going to try and force the door myself, but the stick could probably make it easier. That depends. Yeah. I'm pretty sure at least two of us have crowbars on us. <laughs> oh yeah, I have a crowbar. Oh. I take the crowbar and jab the inside of the, on the door and try to push it. Then give me a check with advantage. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Bree is showing off that little kobold muscles of her actually manages to get this door open. And yeah, with a negative two. As the door begins to swing open, you discover the decayed remains of several humanoid creatures. Remains of what, sorry? Several humanoid creatures. Huh. Hmm. Oh boy. Any particular kind or? Humans. Not that you tell without medical checks, but even then it'd still be difficult. Yeah. As time and weathering is. Yeah, I'm basically looking for like the easy tells. Like, do they have flings? Any oddly shaped skull? That's about it. That's basically all I can pick apart without being like, all right, let me, uh, let me dock do this. <laughs> Make me perception checks. Oh, no. Perception? Oh, oh. Damn. From the northwest, you hear a very high-pitched roar. A high-pitched... what? Roar. Roar? Okay. Keep uh, in mind, we crashed on the northeastern side of this island. Fucking... Okay, so God. it's not anywhere near the building, it just seems like pretty distant, but... Very relevant. Yeah. Okay. Within about a half mile of our current position. I will instantly point that out to them and say, I think we have a creature of pretty formidable strength if it's loud enough to carry a roar as far as I heard it. I think it's on the other northern side of this island. As you begin to, Do we want to... As you begin to speak, make another person check. Oh, okay. 23. <laughs> uh -oh. Stupid eye rolls. <laughs> Look, it's the sole reason I'm like, Sentinel Shield. It's not a defensive item, but man, does it, it have worth. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, damn it. Fucking. Wait, now Maria's. Sorry, I'm trying to fix my 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 headphones. Uh, cushy thing fell off. Uh -huh. I got it. Yeah, and I can't find my other one, so my other headset. Almost had my headset first? break on the right side. Are you rolling perception? Just. Okay. Okay, so you two notice that Cal is becoming much more visible now. Visibly what? what? Much more visible. And you're, able, more you're starting to be able to see him. Hmm. <laughs> hey, Cal, why can't we see you now? Y'all can't see this. <laughs> Cal looks at himself. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Cal could not like, perceive his own body. Well, before we could barely even tell you were around, and when not only really knowing when you talk, uh, I can see an outline of you now. Must mean this fog is dispelling. But... 
sign. Do we... You want to investigate this place or check out what I heard up north? Because, like I said, it seems... Do pretty, I uh, sure to take magic on? Uh, I believe it only lasts for one minute. We've been far longer than that. Okay. Yeah. Then there are better attacks. It's ten minutes, but I don't know if that uh, how long we've been particularly traveling. Uh, if you like, I'd like to uh, maybe do um, without using a spell slot. I would like to. Uh... A ritual detect magic takes ten minutes. Be careful. Yeah, I know, but I just want to take a peek through this place and see if there's anything shiny. Okay. So, I mean, if if you if you want to like if you want to take a peek, at two suggestions. One, I could cast it with a slot, or you could cast it with a slot. I don't really think we should wait because if there's a creature coming here, or if there's a creature that possibly threatens if, if the boat, if you want to do it, it's up to you. Uh, sure, it's a decent spell to. I actually, I still have my enhance on, so I really shouldn't. Okay, I'll, you know, I'll just do the spell slot. See, so yeah, go in there, look for something shiny. Okay. She's just taking a look in the room after using detect magic. If there's anything magical in the room, uh... not innately. Seems as though anything of value has already been stripped from. There's no thing shiny. Just no as shiny. you're concluding your search around the building to determine if there's any value, suddenly the ground begins to shake violently. X saves. Oh. Well, you have a bonus. So I don't know if a 15 do it. I actually had to research this for my oh! own. <laughs> For my uh, other campaign, even <laughs> if the roll were to pass, because it's in that one, I still fail. On a save? Yeah. A knee? Okay, I thought it was not other, the case. Yeah. I thought that was a skill. For my other game, oh. I had a 16. Let yeah, I think it was a 16 that I rolled. After all my bonuses, but because it was in that one, it still failed. I had to look it up. It the hell out of me. Almost caused me to die. Almost fell yeah. about 160 feet. Okay. Uh, this is a natural effect, yeah? Like, just the ground? Uh, yeah. More or less, it feels like an earthquake. Like stain. Cal is definitely thrown from his feet as the ground begins to tremble. Suddenly, the island starts to tip Downward at an angle. Mm. Uh, uh, being that Cal is a small sized creature, Tego kind of like instinctually like help him up and also because things are getting serious, he'll do something that probably neither uh, the other two characters were expecting on a face value. He'll kind of move some plating where the uh, back of the armor is with his other hand and he'll kind of make his wings come out from the armor. Because this is not a time to play around. Yeah, I do. Now, come on, we have a big problem happening. And Tego, like, exit the temple specifically. Just kind of get, like, a look around of what the hell's happening if anything's in the air. Uh, not really. Than the ordinary seabird. Hmm. My vote to take out whatever the hell the thing up north is. Is the island tipping that way? Yeah, and he puts his vote out there instantly once we don't really see anything in the air. Um, he'll offer to carry the both of them. Not too high off the ground in case something bad happens, but to speed up travel if need be. Can you actually pick us up both up? 
Let's see. I uh, believe my carrying is see, like. Let's see. capacity has to be stupid high, and I think we both weigh less than fifty pounds. Oh, well, if I can actually type it properly. Are both of you under three hundred? Yes. I Cal can do it. I say Cal weighs thirty-five pounds, so he's quite significantly under that. Yeah, so I can very easily pick the both of you up, one in each hand, just to kind of quickly get us where we gotta go, since both of you are small creatures, got less than move speed. We gotta get a You know, move. the funny thing about it is, uh, I can give you enhanced ability, and, uh, and... Technically, I could just change my enhance, but it, I think we should keep your detect up, just in case. Yeah. So he tries to blindside us. Okay, so which direction are we headed? Towards the ship or towards the noise? We'll keep a decent elevation to where we can possibly see both, like, just basically right above a couple trees. And if we see anything to the northwest, right that way, if we don't, kind of in the middle. To make sure we intercept whatever might be possibly threatening the ship. And then okay. if we don't see it. As we begin to fly towards general direction of our ship. Give me an investigation ship. Oh, well, there we go. Kel's on it. <laughs> He's currently unrestrained by anything. There's full focus into it, apparently. <laughs> it rolls all around. Hell yeah. The island is currently sinking. But not straight down as you would think. It's sinking at a diagonal towards the northeast. I swear to god, this is, if this is a fucking t uh, turtle. Yeah. Shut up and stop reading my notes. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, for a lol. Alright. <laughs> so... <laughs> If we don't particularly see anything like that we can intercept, if it's still sinking from that specific direction, and like even flying, it's still that exact direction. We'll kind of, well, we'll see what's going on over there. Unless you guys would rather a different decision, since you know, it depends. Cause... Cal definitely doesn't want to be on what seems like a sinking island, so. The boat. Okay. Maria? Yeah? Boat? Source? Other preferred place to go? Boat. Alright. We go to the boat. We, we can always use the, uh, the spear. The spear? You know what the spear? You mean the trident. But the yeah. one that Auron has. <laughs> oh, he took it with us? I think he uh, left it with us. I don't think Auron would have taken it. If anyone would have taken it, it probably would have been Nala since she's a weapon collector. But Auron used it for the fight and he was planning on not using it afterwards. Either way, it's with a character that's no longer with. Yeah. Sadly. But yeah, so like... I'll basically quick fly us towards the ship and, you know, we'll, we'll play out the scene from there. What's the scene looking like from the uh, crew and the boat, like that they fixed it up more or less? Uh, the repairs are good and well enough done to get underway, though they're not totally complete. There's still some areas above water that are still damaged and need repair, but we could leave now if we absolutely needed to. And by now, the island is almost completely underwater. Well, I don't have a choice. Height, uh, do, do I see other things up here in the sky? How do you mean? Well, we're like anything in the air, I looked and DM said I didn't see anything, so... Uh, is there anything magical in the air, DM? I don't know. No, like looking down on the 
the island before it's submerging underwater, is there anything else? Oh, like any other important structures possibly then? Not really, it just seems to be that one and maybe the remnants of what could have been some wood. Bye. Damn. But they've taken much more damage than the stone build. Yeah. So, yeah, since we're all on the boat, we probably should get moving, keep the people safe. Do we see safe. a head shooting up from the uh, water? Whatever the island was or wasn't, it's completely gone now. Massive shadow being farther and farther away in the bay. But it's no longer visible. We begin to make our way. Heading towards destination. Takes us another. I swear to God, if one well, of my books are in that fucking place, I'm gonna be pissed. Takes so us we're another... taking the magic item, though. Yeah, we're popped in. But another days and a half journey, and we arrive at the it's bay. That is where the session for you.